guys, Rich and Dada 2, and today we're going to be talking about uh, part 2 of Skyfall, and I'm also reacting to part uh, the trailer for part 2, because I was too tempted, I can't wait any longer, I need to see what this trailer is, and yeah, I can't wait until Sunday, which is a good thing, I, I'm actually normally like, oh, I'll wait until Sunday, I won't look at the trailer, and yet I am. I'm too excited. I need to find out what's happening next. So I am going to be reacting to the trailer because I might as well. Because I'm also talking about part two. Because I've got a lot of ideas and what I sh what I hope will be in part two about the tone, what I want to happen in uh, Skyfall, uh, Spyfall part two. So yeah, let's just react to the trailer now and then talk about that. And then let's talk about what I want for episode two. Chaos. The master. Chaos. France. All hope lost. And the master just shouting and France. Uh, there's not a lot to react to. I suppose it is basically 10 seconds of content and the rest of. Don't forget to subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Jody. Is basically taking up 20 seconds of that. So there wasn't much to react to. Oh well. Um, yeah, that was the reason of this video, basically, to me reacting to this because I was too excited. And there weren't much. Just the master screaming, chaos, and maybe something's after the Doctor from the actual trailer of the series. There was stuff chasing the Doctor, which would be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just carry on. Right, I'm going to talk about what I want from episode two because there was not anything to react to through that trailer. Oh well. Um, let's get into it. So, episode two, uh, Spyfall part two. So, obviously, we're leading off with the master reveal, these creatures that are white, and the companions going down to their doom, and 13 trapped in the place where Yaz was. I have no idea how 13 will get out of where she's trapped. Maybe she gets teleported back. But the one thing I do know is the companions crashing down to their doom. I can only see the Doctor... Getting out of where she is, that scenario, getting into a TARDIS and flying onto um, the airplane to save all the companions before they crash down to their doom. That's the only explanation I can think of that to save the companions. Uh, what else I want, though, is I want to know where, which version this master is. And also, I have a theory that he isn't the master. Maybe because he's got all this back knowledge we saw in his home full of all these... Um, all, all these files on the Doctor, maybe he's thought, oh, I can pretend to be the Master and try and trick and beyond that, um, maybe. And maybe he's not the Master and maybe he's just pretending to be to trick the Doctor and get more out of him. And the only reason I think that is because um, everything you b think you believe is a lie. That's what he said in his last lines was, everything you think you believe is a lie. So that made me think... Well, what does she believe? That she that he's the master? So maybe he's not the master and he just did all that for his own gain. But yeah, or he is the master and I'm totally down for that and I'm all game for that and I hope he is because that I think he would do a pretty good job. I'm sensing John Sim vibes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's a bit camp and childish and giddy. But that is the opposite of Jodie Whittaker and I think that matches you've got John Sim and Dave Tennant paralleled you've got Michelle Gomez and Pete Capaldi that paralleled now we've got I have no idea how to pronounce his name so I'm just going to say the master and 13 paralleled so they work quite well so yeah um but also I would like to find out obviously in series 10 we had uh, Missy popping up in episode series 8 series 9 and series 10 I wouldn't, wouldn't mind if he popped up Again, I hope this isn't the last time we see him in episode two. I hope he appears up in the finale, or I hope he appears up in uh, series 13 and beyond that, because that would be good uh, to keep re to reoccurring. And if it is his last story and he's only been in two episodes, I would be a bit disappointed, to be fair. Um, also want to know about the Master is, uh, obviously Missy had in series 10 her good arc. She was turning good. And if he's the next in line, he's suddenly bad. What What's happened? Give a little bit of explanation why he's turned good. And then finally, uh, if about the master, he might not be the master we think. Maybe he's the master 
just as John Sims dying and regenerating, maybe, oh, that would be good, wouldn't it, if John Sim did a little cameo for Siri. Because basically, I met John Sim in London Comic Con last year, and he said, oh, maybe they've got some of the ideas. Maybe he knew about it. Because I met John Sim in uh, London Comic Con, and I've got a photo, which I'll probably put up on the screen to prove it. Um, so I met L John Sim at London Comic Con, and um, basically he said, oh, I think maybe they've got other ideas, uh, but I would never say no to returning. He loved the version of Jodie Whittaker. Oh, if he did a cameo, we would have known it by now, wouldn't we? It would be spoiled. But then again, this would have been spoiled. Oh, I'm over hyped forget that i'm looking too much into what i'm when i met him maybe he's just not maybe he was on about big finish or whatever oh i'd love it if john sim did that and i knew and he told me in a certain way and i never knew until now if not let's forget about that um what else yeah i hope that he it was john sim then it was the guy we've got with dr 13 and then he, when he dies, he regenerates into Michelle Gomez, linking in with the series Good Arc and leaving another head writer to try and save Michelle Gomez from dying or how she escaped from being good and all that sort of stuff. Leave that to another writer. So the master we've got now may be between Don Sim and Michelle Gomez. That would be interesting. Or we could actually get a cameo of John Sim regenerating and that would be good. I would love that. Um, forget all that fanboyness. We're talking about episode two, and it may not, definitely may not happen. Uh, then we've got these other white creatures. I'd like to find out. I'd like to find out about these white creatures. Of um, them in uh, basically, they want to take you for the universe, and that's all we know. They've got deep voices. This is not what they meant to look like. They are just mocking us with these white creature s things and it would be nice to actually see what they look like but then again they might be this sort of villain from like listen where the boy is hiding on the bed or the or it was a monster under the bed hiding and we never got to see what that monster was and maybe it's one of those things again which would be interesting and they just appear as these white creatures um yeah i would i think the masters basically tweets them like he's tweaked the cybermen and all these classic villains he's worked with in the past he's these monsters can get into the TARDIS. These monsters can't be scanned by sonic screwdrivers because the Master's helping them. He's tweaking them, and that would be good. Uh, I, and the main thing I want from this is it's Spy Fall Part 2. So it's spies again. I hope the theme, the theme is the same theme from Episode 2 because if it's doing a Stephen Moffat where you have um, the Monk trilogy, you have basically... Uh, the Monk trilogy in series 10 with Stephen Moffat did three different stories, all to the same story, but all three different tones, and it was completely different. And yet again, you have that with The Doctor Falls and World Enough and Time. And a lot of people love World Enough and Time and don't like Doctor Falls. I love Doctor Falls and not a fan of World Enough and Time. I'm a majority. I'm a majority, whatever you want to call it, you know. I prefer the opposite way round, and I prefer Dr. Falls leave the world enough in time. But the tones are completely different. They're still pl uh, telling us what happens next, and they're still giving us ideas, but the tones are completely different. And I hope the tone in uh, Spyfall Part 1 and Part 2 are completely the same, so it's like a film length, and I think that would work well than just jump into an, a different to tone. Obviously, in the trailer reaction, we're moving to France, so it is going to be a completely different time period, but I hope the tone and the twists are still the same. And there's a lot more to happen. Which version is the Master is this? What's the Master's plan? What are these white things and how are they going to get defeated? Are they going to trick the Master and try and beat that? And then the Master's got to join them. And that guy with the bikes, he, the guy was shooting with the bikes, who's 93% human. Is he working with the Master? It looks like from the trailer, from that little glimpse of them in the same scene. And, well, he is working with the same, because he got him off the train, uh, off the plane on time. So he is working with the Master. Uh, maybe he might join sort forces with the Doctor. There's so much plots, there's so much questions. And that's why I did this video. I won't be doing another video on What If throughout the series. This is the only one. But I will be doing a review of every episode of Series 12. So stick around for that. 
Um, also stick around for once the series ends, I'll be doing an overview of series 12 and talking about each episode and ranking them out of 10 and giving them all that. Uh, I've also got videos of me uh, interviewing David Tennant, Matt Smith and uh, Catherine Tate and a little glimpse of me with River song Alex Kingston. So check out my Wales Comic Con video. There's a 20 minute version of me talking about the event. And there's a, 30, there's a three minute version of me actually sneaky recording asking them questions at Wales Comic Con. So check them videos out if you haven't already. They're on the playlist. And yeah. I've got a lot more reviews to come for Series 12. Maybe I've got a few more theories for the finale. Hopefully they're building up to that. And maybe I'll do a video for the finale of this kind of video. But mainly it's just going to be my review. And if you haven't seen any of my reviews, check out Spyfall Part 1. I just did a review on that yesterday. So go and check that out. Because, uh, yeah. But uploading... I this, The episode finished at 8 o'clock. And... Uh, it took from quarter past eight when I finished the recording my review till half eleven at night for the video to get uploaded to YouTube. So that's how long it takes for these videos to get uploaded. And this is going to probably take forever to get uploaded as well because it's over 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so it's going to take forever for this to get uploaded. So when I do episode two review on Sunday, it would probably take until midnight to get uh for this uh, episode 2 to be reviewed will be out or Monday at the latest so Sunday and Monday check out my review of part 2 of Spyfall and I'm rambling now gave you enough information I'm reviewing every episode and then after this series I'm reviewing the whole series so yeah comment rate subscribe and let me know what you think of this if you've got any theories about series 12 and yeah no spoilers comment rate subscribe get that little bell and I'll see you guys next time you've been watching go Doctor Who